Right, I've got the motherboard tray in. Uh, just a quick tip. Um, the screw on the right has got a much larger thread than the one on the left. Now, the one on the right, you will use on a computer case for almost everything. So, on the right, you'll use it for all of your motherboard screws. Sometimes, very, very rarely, will it be this thread for the motherboard screws. This this one on the right will always be for your power supply, always be your case screws. It will always be for your hard drive screws. Now this one on the left will always be for your CD-ROM screws. Now, you also have a case fan screw, which I'm not sure I have here right now. So, um, yeah, just letting you guys know, just to make sure that you just don't wreck any threads on any of the hard drives or CD-ROMs, which I have in the past, so I wouldn't want that to happen to you guys. Okay, now I've got the motherboard in, so now we've got to put in our CD drive and hard drive. Um, don't worry about doing the graphics card. You put it in now, it just becomes a big thing in the way, you know, you don't need to worry about it until the end. So yeah, I'll get the CD-ROM and hard drive in and then we'll, we'll begin with the power supply. Alright, uh, now I've got the hard drive and the CD-ROM in. Uh, what I've done, I've just got this in here loosely. Um, just to see if it would fit. Now, in that bay where the hard drive's sitting right now, you have this little thing that slides in. Now, that, if that silver thing was there, it would actually hit, so it wouldn't fit. Now, if you actually take this out, like so, that actually looks quite crap. So, I've decided that that would actually look a hell of a lot nicer. Actually put it, leaving that in there like that. Now, uh, one thing to note that I've done, I've actually put the hard drive in the opposite way around. So, here yeah, we've actually got no inputs for the hard drive. Actually all at the back. So, uh, ways that that can help is you actually minimise the amount of cables that are in the main section of the computer here. Um, it allows you to hide the cables very well, uh, have a nice cable management job. And yeah, that's the main reason why I do that. So yeah, you can hide those and for example, you pull these out here and there they are in there, which will be down the side in there. Now we'll see how good that goes. That might not work. Uh, most most builds it actually does work quite well. Sometimes, it'll, well we'll see. I might even have to end up changing it and putting it the other way around, but it's worth a shot. Um, now here, you'll actually run these cables for this through there and that will come out behind here which is the actual motherboard not the motherboard where the power supply is so you can get those cables up in there behind there into here um, so now that that's all installed um, you want to get your power supply ready so now you've got to suss out where you want your cables and how you want to do them so this power supply will be using a SATA here SATA power up here and your two Moloxes up here, which I'm going to push those Moloxes through that hole, get them behind the motherboard tray. Um, and we're going to obviously need power here, here, and over here. So uh, first of all, I actually might run the SATA cables, and yeah, now we'll have a little bit of an update. Uh, and first of all, just before I go, I want to show you, put the CD drive in, you've actually got to take out whatever drive bay you're putting in, you've got to take out that piece of mesh at the front, you've got to pop off the little blank plate as well to be able to slide it in. Um, I'll be back. Um, I'll go and I'll put this power supply in the, in the side of leads and I'll show you uh, where I would hide my cables and how it would do it. Right, I'll be back. <laughs> 